Welcome back to a brand new video, TBF Gaming, jumping into another ARC mod spotlight slash guide. It's kind of a mini guide. We're going to get into some of our favorite mods over the next couple weeks on Saturday and Sunday's videos. Well, just kind of give us a little bit of di different something on the channel. Make sure that we're adding something, hopefully, of value to your guys' playthroughs. And today, we're going to go over ARC Simple Spawners. This is one of my favorite mods. We're going to talk about it in just a second. Before we do that, if you enjoyed today's video or if it's helpful to you in any way, please hit that like button. It helps us out more than you know. If you guys have any suggestions or comments on how to make this video or future videos better, Better, put it in the comments down below and if, if you want to see more of this definitely hit the subscribe button we're working towards our goal of 17,000 subs with a future goal of 20,000 subs and I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride with me all right let's get into this so this is arc simple spawners if you guys ever wonder how a youtuber is able to have all the dinos across the map how the map is just filled with dinos sometimes this is how they do it there are other methods but this is one of the easiest and best ways to do it and it's through a mod called simple spawners by dark lore this is an incredible mod he's done a great job on it the amount of work that's gone into it is pretty incredible. So let's let's go ahead and talk about all the stuff in it. These are all the things put in. I already went ahead and spawned each one of them in. We've got a couple commands that you guys need to know. First of all, if you're playing on single player, you have to have the command add prevent hibernation placed in your startup before you start arc in order for this to work on single player. On a multiplayer server, you need to be admin. So those are the kind of the two quick notes for it. And then there's two commands that you guys got to know. Admin cheat, script command, simple spawners, and admin cheat. Let's see, I'm just going to put go up to them. There you go. Simple spawners. This is the first one. This is admin cheat, script command, simple spawners. I'll make sure I put that up on the screen so you can see it. This will bring up the menu for simple spawners. The other one that you need to know is admin cheat, admin cheat, script command, removes buff. This gets rid of the buff, so you'll no longer have the little buff down in the bottom where it says SS. You also will not be able to see any of the simple spawners anymore. So it's really important. If you guys can't see it or interact with it, it's because you might not be in the right mode. So you just put in that first command again, which is the admin cheat script command simple spawners. Boom, it brings up the menu. The menu has some really cool stuff to it. I won't talk about everything because it could take us forever, but I want to at least give you guys a little bit of info on it. So these are all the different ones you can put in. We're going to talk about each one individually, but the creature spawner, loot spawner, resource spawner, etc. down the list. The other ones that you need to know is up here, you have open simple spawners map. This one's hugely useful if you can't remember where you put your spawn because when you do this if we go creature spawner and you go close this and we grab this creature spawner you can place this anywhere anywhere on a map and you can set it up to where it spawns just in a specific area or you can set it up to where it spawns across an entire server there's so many things you can do with it and sometimes you end up losing them and you can't find them so you got to go look around the map for them or you go to this open simple spawner map and this will show you everything that you've placed on the current map so if we want to go to the water vein that I placed, we come over here, click water vein, and I can teleport to the structure, and then that brings us over here. Now, if you teleport, sometimes you do have to do the command again. You'll notice that every, everything does show up, but sometimes you can't access it. So I would still do the command again. Same thing, if you die, you have to do the command again. Or if you're having trouble with it, let your character die and then respawn, and then do the command again, and sometimes that fixes some of the simple issues. But that's what happens when you do the, the teleport to item. It just makes it really useful so you can find your spawners that you placed on the map, because the amount of times that I've lost these is, is pretty incredible. You also have, if it's something that spawns things, so like the actual summoners or the spawn locations. Uh, where is it? Simple spawner. Creature spawner. There we go. So creature spawner. If we do this one here, if you want it to force spawn whatever's there, we go ahead and click that, and more of the dinos will come come back out. You can hit uh, count command to see how many are actually out there. Right now we don't have. Here it is. Let's go. We've already got a couple there. There you go. Let's send out a couple more. Now, 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 how many do we have? Now we've got 14 of them out. So you can see 14 little jerboas. I made sure I did jerboas this time. I did raptors early in testing, and we got attacked way too much. But okay, let's talk about the actual spawner for the creature spawner this one is pretty intense it's got a lot of stuff into it but it's not real difficult once you play with it a little bit and it, it's really well set up so you can figure out how all the different settings work first of all you have all the dinos over here on the left side this is probably the most important part because all the vanilla dinos are already in here so the vanilla dinos are already in here so if you're wanting to click on something like uh, we want to spawn a bunch of akatinas in you're going to come in here say how many you want to spawn click like that it, it goes, it's going to go green make sure anytime you make a change click the save button up here and then you can do that pretty much throughout the list of all the different ones that we want to add uh what, what else is safe that won't kill me there you go 12 of the dodos uh oh oh no oh slight problem hold on we got to shut something off i think it's this one here all right uh pick up there we go <laughs> we had a quick radiation thing happening all right 
we'll, we'll put that one back down in just a minute so if, if we're going in here you can choose all the dinos that you want to spawn on here you can throw a description up here so you'll know which spawner is which that way when you click on it you can figure out where it's actually or what the actual name of it is so that way you can kind of keep better track of it always hit save and then save close before you when you do anything over here is spawner enable this basically just turns the spawner on or off real simple total creature limit if you're wanting the spawner to only summon in a certain amount of things although it will respect the number that you have over here so it won't spawn in more than 16 akatinas or 12 of the dodos etc over here is the respawn interval how often it happens we set it to 30 minutes on our server but if we have a really large server with lots of dinos spawning in we'll set it a little bit longer to like six hours eight hours 12 hours that way it won't happen all the time and just cause a lot of problems for players the level range you can set up wherever you want to see if you want to put some crazy levels on your server so 900 to 1500 you want some crazy level jerboas and dodos on the on the map you can put it like that despawn time if you only want them to stick around for a little bit increment levels just puts the increments in there so instead of spawning in at one two three four five it'll spawn in at 510 or 1020 or 50 100 depending on what your total level is chance to spawn you can set it to where it doesn't always spawn so it only sometimes spawns visual effect on spawn is the little glow that happens when you spawn them uh, you can put that on or off it doesn't really matter enable custom colors we went ahead and did just so we could do some yellow jerboas uh, we need to change that let's change that to that let's change it to a like a darker color there you go green there we go and then we'll destroy there you go you can see the glow up there hopefully and then if we force spawn now we got 13 creatures out there so you can see all the little creatures out there and they should be specifically colored based on what we just pressed it's a little bit of red on that one there so that's kind of how that works if go back in here the next couple things you need to know the spawn hours you can set up the spawn limit we don't really have to mess with too much it doesn't really go over the spawn limits most of the time creatures tameable just whether you want them to be tameable or not chance to be baby or not we put it at 50 so there'll be a bunch of babies out there but that means 50 percent of all dinos that spawn from this are going to be babies it's kind of high obviously we only set it to like one or two usually so it's just you know a small chance to be a baby out there and then you can put it to claimable or unclaimable we leave it claimable so people can claim it so that's the big things there. The other two that are really big is the spawn globally. If you want them to spawn in this area, this is the area for a 25 by 25 by 25 area. I'll show you that area. It's pretty small. 25 by 25 is pretty small. You can kind of see the big outline up there, hopefully. If you want to set it way further, you can do it up to 1,000. So you can push it out pretty far. And then if you want to just do spawn globally so it's everywhere across the map, you click like that and then it'll spawn just anywhere on the map so then you might not see them over here they might be way off in the distance somewhere else uh actually it didn't seem to like that so let's not do it that way oh okay i might have broke something there we go there we go they're back all right and then allow roaming whether they can roam or not and then like i said avoid player structures is huge we've accidentally had some dinos spawn into people's actual areas so be careful with that uh, but yeah, we're already getting kind of long in this one. Let's make sure we, we streamline this a little bit. Let's close this out, close that out. So that's the biggest thing with the simple spawners. The only other thing that you guys need to know is if you're adding modded dinos, you just add the blueprint for the dino down here. If you guys want a guide on how to do that, go check out the guide by Dark Lower over on their Discord or on their Steam page. It tells you how to get the blueprints for modded dinos. I've got a big script that I've got that has all my modded dino files in it where we can put in a giant blueprint really quickly. So I'm currently playing Pyrea on the channel. Down here you can see all the Pyrea dinos put in here into the simple spawner and the additional dinos put into the simple spawner so we could spawn these into the map same, same way. We can set them up to all of our levels and customs and stuff like that. So very, very cool. That's the simple spawner. That's definitely the, the one that we use most in this mod. There's also a gun that goes with this that you can use as well. I don't use it very often, but it's got some really cool features. So it's got a force spawn mode, so that way you can force it to spawn. There you go. We can click it a couple times, and you can see all the extra spawns out there. Akatinas, Jerboas, and Dodos. Like I said, we did Raptors in testing, but they attack a little too much. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Going to go ahead and destroy, and we'll go ahead and shut these guys off real quick. Let's just, we'll put them down to just low for right now. That, that way they're not bothering us. Okay. So that's the simple spawner. The next one is the loot spawner. This one, you could do a little bit of work in the background in your I and I to kind of set up some of the stuff in here. I haven't played too much with this, but it is, it is really well done. You can come in here and if you want a bunch of the artifacts to spawn in, so we'll just click on a bunch of the artifacts. So if you're on a map that doesn't have specific artifacts, you can add this on there. I've not used this in the past, but now that I know how to use it by doing this guide, I'm going to go back and start adding these to some of the maps where we don't have all of the things we need. So let's go ahead and save it. All right, and we would put this as, we'll, we'll call it the loot. 
All right, and then make sure we save for spawn loot. And it did, it saved, spawned in at least one. Let's see what we got. We got an artifact over here, there you go. So it'll spawn in an artifact, awesome. There you go. And you can set it up to spawn in so often and to the amount that actually come into the thing. So pretty much same settings. I'm not gonna go on through all these again, but it's got the spawn area, spawn globally, so you can put it just randomly around the map, which I think would be kind of cool. Uh, OSD, element nodes, the chance to spawn, despawn time, all the stuff that we saw over on the dino spawner, very similar here. Loots per respawn. So this one, if we did eight to 12, it would increase the number that we had real quick. You can also do beacons on here. So we went and we're playing with some of the beacons. And then something that we didn't know that you could do was the some of the more dangerous things like the, what is it called? The California plant. <laughs> we didn't know that you could do that. We spawned that in and had that thing really close to us. Let's see if it spawns close to us this time. All right, for sweet spawn. Let's see. Okay, it didn't spawn in this time, which is probably a good thing. But basically, it can it can spawn in in the area, and then you can have those little dangerous plants. For all those, save, save. All right, so that that's that one. I don't want to go as crazy into it. There is some I and I and configuration stuff you can do in the blueprints. We won't really work on that in this video, but there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. This one, same thing. This just adds a lot adds lots of cool elements. So if you want to add something like beaver dams, you click on what you want to click on over here. Click the little arrow, and it's going to add beaver dam there. How many you want to spawn? Uh, if you want a, let's do, let's just do a tree. All right, tree, tree extinction. So if you want a tree extinction, you can put it with a harvest multiplier on it is. If you want to make it like a redwood tree, we'll put it times five. Quantity to spawn, and then you can change whether it's blue sap, red sap, or mountain. We'll do, we'll do the red sap. All right, we'll save it. And then same as the spawner that we saw before, we're just going to come over here and hit force resource spawn. There's now a few of them out there, four and five out there. So if we look around, we should see those. We should see a, a beaver dam over there, a couple of the trees over there. So it's really cool. You can do so much with this. And like I said, it's the same as before, where you can do it to spawn globally or in specific areas. And you can change the size of the area. So if you want to do very specific spawns, and there's just tons of stuff that you can do inside of here. Like I said, we could, we could go through all this forever. And a lot of them different, have different variations. If you want to do some of the starter, the advanced crops for people, like, like on Valgaro, you can add those there, but just lots of cool stuff that you can add in here. One of the best mods out there. Definitely a must for, for server owners. The next couple are ones that will show up on the map even if you're not in simple spawner mode because they are actual in-game items. You have to set these up in another, we do another video on this one, but in order to set up the creature spawners, this is basically like your, your boss spawners, something you gotta set up in the background. The nest, same thing. You can put these in areas where certain things spawn like wyverns or rock drakes, and then it will, basically bring eggs in from those so if, if there were those dinos in here we could do it real quick but it's kind of a it's kind of a pain can we try it real quick let's we're gonna do it really really quick so if we go drake all right rock drake times five and then we're gonna spawn it in real quick all right it's gonna get annoying for just a second but so i can show you the settings on here oh we're gonna go nest so over here on the nest so if you hit scan it's gonna show rock drake or dodo so if we click rock drake force spawn egg it'll bring in eggs for those and you can set this up on a timer so it's happening every so often but let me go shut this off <laughs> sorry guys super annoying all right destroy creature save and let's get rid of that drake there you go zero also i saw the dodo on there maybe the maybe the little dinos like the dodo works let's let's add a crazy amount of these guys all right, save. There you go. So maybe it works for something like a dodo. We could try that. Pick that up. Inside of here, now we scan. We got a dodo. And then we can set it up to where it force spawns in dodo eggs. It does, and they're actually fertilized. So if you want to have giant dodo nests, this is pretty much all the same settings that you saw on the, on the previous one. Uh, but you can set up on a specific timer and stuff like that. Pretty much the same thing that we saw on the, the Dino Simple Spawner. Excellent, excellent addition to a map. This one is the actual spawn locations on the map. If you want to add a custom spawn for where the players spawn when they first join the map or when they die, you can add this here. So if you just click E, put a name on it, and then it'll show up on the spawn list when people first join the game. 
This one over here are just in-game items. So you have your transmitter, just like normal where you can do bosses and stuff like this if you want to put a specific area in, like a boss area. This is a city terminal. Let me fast forward through this rain real quick. Okay, next ones are other just in-game items. Like I said, you'll actually see these when you're not in spawner mode. This is just your city terminal, which is like the normal city terminal does, but you can put it wherever you want to on the map. Next one is a prevention zone. So if you're wanting to put it to where people can't cryopod, grapple hook, or structure damage, prevent flying, just like a normal cave, you can set this up here. You can put the actual size of it. So if we do show volume, you can see. So everything in this area, if we did it, would not be able to fly. So prevent flying. So now this is a no-fly zone. So just really cool. You can set up some stuff like that if you're wanting areas where people can't do extra stuff like that. The other one that we had to pick up earlier was the radiation one. There you go. Very similar. You can set up your own little radiation zones. Really simple. It just you put the size of it. You can do the show volume if you want to so you can see how big it is and then what the hours are. So if you want a place to be radiated only in certain times, you can set that up. So if you want to set up your own radiation zones on a map, that's pretty cool. Same thing here, just a charge node. This is a, like the one you see regular in game, but you can put it wherever you want to. This is a gas vein. So if we had an actual gap, that thing freaks me out every time. If we had an actual gas collector, we could throw that on there. Gas collector. All right, there you go. <laughs> of course it worked as soon as I got close. All right, okay, we had to destroy that. It was trying to give us trouble. But basically you put gas veins down where you want them. So you'll have those, you put those plants wherever. Same thing with these two, the water and the oil veins. You can place any, those anywhere on the map. So if you have a map that doesn't have those things, and then there'll be placeable structures for people to throw their stuff onto. Just really cool additions, so you can add them wherever you want. Hey, last one I almost forgot to talk about because we had to pick it up because it was preventing us from putting down other items is the no build zone. You can put down a no build zone. This is exactly like it sounds. It's a no build zone. You put the, the size for it, and then no one can build in that area so it's really good if you're trying to make it to where they can't build in certain areas or parts of the map definitely play with this a little bit uh, but there you go that was it uh, but yeah that's pretty much it I, I don't want to go too far into it there's so much more that we could talk about with this mod there's some cool stuff you can do in the ini settings and some other things that you can do with the mod and i'm sure i'm missing and leaving out a lot of really useful and helpful tips if you guys have something useful or helpful for this mod that you guys know that i didn't know definitely put it down in the comments down below huge shout out to the mod developer for all the hard work they put and making the game that we love arc even better i really do appreciate everything they do wouldn't have my channel without all the work they do because modding modded arc is just fun i'm actually going to start my own attempt at modding over this next few months especially if arc moves to ue5 we're going to try to get into modding just a little bit anyways guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope it added some value to your playthroughs hit the like button subscribe for new leave a comment down below working towards 17,000 subs with our big goal of 20,000 subs Huge shout out to the patrons. I don't I try to say this only at the end of the video, so I don't feel bad about doing it, but I really want to say thank you to the patrons. They make all my servers possible, and they make me make it possible for me to run these servers and to do the ARC content. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Later.